Hello world, <laughs> this is Calliope Nikitas, and this is Lucy. Uh, she was not uh, intended to be in the camera right at the beginning. I was going to introduce her to you, but you know, poodles, 12-year-old <clears throat> poodles especially, they, they've learned how to rule the show, so I just go with it. So I'm making this video and a series of videos from henceforth so that I can share my personal experiences with you that have helped me in the hope that they help you. Um, I, I'm a life coach, a mind-body coach, dog owner, and a transformational speaker extraordinaire. <clears throat> and uh, have made it my life's purpose to try and help people make their lives better because everybody's life can be better. It's so true. I know you don't think it's true. I didn't think it was true, but it is. There are so many things that are within our power, our control, when we think we have no control. It's not true. We get stuck in that place where we think everything's out of our, our hands. But I'll be saying more about that in each little video. I won't get, uh, I don't want to take up all the time on that one. <clears throat> I have many points I wish to make. Oh, and one of the points I wish to make is, if this video seems not just amateurish, but to some unprofessional, this is, this is it. <laughs> I am like this. <laughs> I think it's important to include humor, levity, awe, fun, play, creativity, because life is hard. Life is hard as it is. <laughs> you know, whether we want to or not, we're going to have to be these responsible, put together, come on, I got to do this at this time, otherwise I'm not going to have a roof over my head people we have to we have to deal with many of life's harder things so why not inject humor laughter joy fun in the rest of the parts where we can where it's appropriate and there's Lucy eating din din um, and I believe in seeking out uh, things that delight us, things that light you up. I believe in seeking these things out and filling your life with them because uh, by doing that you actually just automatically omit the negative things because there's no room. You only have so many hours in a day. So if I, which is something I do every day now, pull my curtains back and make sure that as the day goes on, I get to see what's going on outside. And I'm a bird nerd, a bird lover, nature lover. I'm looking for things that inspire awe, that make me say, wow, that's so cool, oh my God. And indeed, I had that experience today. A hawk, large, beautiful hawk, right in the tree outside my apartment building. Incredible. I've lived here for 10 years. Did I know there were hawks? No. Did I know there were little woodpeckers and chickadees and all sorts of blue jays and things you have to actually look for, notice. There's a whole wildlife show going on out there. But we're too busy, we're too serious. And we miss out. And then one day, you know, it's quittance for you. <laughs> we haven't had a chance to laugh and have fun so yeah that's my another part of my purpose my purpose is to help you have more fun laugh more enjoy life more. savor life I'm all about savoring life it's all we have and we're gonna have the pain we're gonna have the hardship it's gonna be there but alongside it, there's going to be awe and beauty, like beauty and wonder 
and poignancy and love and so many things are still there. We just have to, well, we don't have to do anything. I have learned to try and experience both, try and allow both to coexist because most of the time you're not going to just have the awe and the beauty and you're not going to just have the pain and the hardship. The two are just weave in and out. They can be present in the same moment. You know, you see something, you see a beautiful sunset and time stops. It's just so, the colors are so magnificent. And yet, maybe your parent is dying and that is still, the pain is there. That doesn't go away, but it doesn't stop the experience of, oh, oh my God, that is stunning. I get to witness this. And um, because it's harder for us to notice the good stuff, I like to try and be that force for good and show people how to shift perspective. Um, I'll stop there for now. I want to say thank you for watching thus far. If you like my video, let me know. If you don't like it, don't watch it. And don't be mean. Just, you know, just, yeah. don't be a hater. Be a lover. Um, and you don't have to like my style. Trust me, I, I get it. Uh, but yeah, if I, I look forward to huh, traveling with you along this journey called life.